Ow. He's about to die. No. Everything hurts. Dieting sucks. By the way, in case you didn't know, dieting sucks. So does exercise. That's all overrated. Anyways, I'm Jeremy. Bad. I'm AJ and I'm exercising and dieting too. <laughs> Either way, these, these are, are extraordinary hard. times. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's the lack of caffeine talking. I'm a little crotchety right now. It's okay. No, caffeine cause... addict, that's what happens. Hey, man. shut up. It's true. Anyways, so uh, first story of today is uh, out of Little Rock, Arkansas, where, uh, you know, they tolerate things there. And so the uh, the uh, leader of the Arkansas Democratic uh, uh, Party, I think, the campaign manager. He's a campaign manager. Anyways, he's uh, you know big 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 wig Democrat, and uh, well, okay, some people that live uh, in the the Ozarks don't exactly uh, take kindly to Democrats. So uh, over the weekend, uh, his cat was found. Killed and spray painted with uh, liberal down the side. Which brings me to my next point. No! Oh my gosh, why would you do that? That's serial killer crap. Nay. Nay. We, we don't need this kind of image for <laughs> anybody in, uh, against liberal stuff. Yeah, well, I, I'm not against everything liberal. There are a couple of things that I, okay, might want to look into. But this is not the way that's, to get a point across. Because technically you're a libertarian. Right. It takes the best of, of, of the Democrat stuff and, and mixes it with some conservatism. So that's your brief lesson on libertarianism. Right. The more you know. <laughs> Either way, I'm a cat person too. So this one kind of hits me really hard. I'm on. an allergic to cat I mean, person. I like dogs too. Really? Yeah, really. I did not know. That's why allergic? we don't have one. Oh. Darn. That, and I'm not going to be a crazy cat dude. <laughs> I probably will be. Yes, uh, you will. Either way, not the wife, way to th get things done. With your wife and seven kids. And if anybody knows who did this, I, I know we don't have that big of a show, but come on, just spread the word. Actually, you know what? Spread the word the so face. that we can spread the word. That's the, that's the moral of that story. Spread yeah. our word so you can spread that word, and then you know do what the internet does and catch people that do stupid crap. Exactly. And then expose them for being awful people. Anyway. Uh, speaking of exposing people for being awful. Yes! <laughs> we love that! Segway. Um, geez. Okay, so there's this guy built his own uh, flying drone helicopter thing. Which is pretty cool. Bad. Awesome, by the way. Yeah. Put a little <laughs> camera on it. All for 75 bucks. This guy's awesome. Okay. And it's just flying around the Dallas area. And uh, happen to fly it over a meat packing plant. Because uh, mm, it's sure, there. why not? And then he spotted what appeared to be a river of blood. Also, <sighs> also not that strange around a meat packing plant. For those of you who don't know, it's gross. Read the jungle, Upton Sinclair, if I'm remembering right. And you'll yeah. So river of blood, not even that strange. Except that it, it was going into, you know, the local river. Yeah, Roger, <laughs> it's it's like 300 yards away, and a 300-yard river of blood going to a river is a big problem with, what was that agency? Uh, Texas Environmental Crimes Task Force. Uh. <laughs> and this is Texas. You know? Yeah, <laughs> this is Texas. And it's for not those the little environmental yeah. task for this yeah. is Texas. But, so, for those of you who don't know, you know, Texas Republicans, you know, whatever, you might not think too highly of them, but we love our state. We love our environment. Anything that threatens our environment, I'll just use a catchphrase: "Don't mess with Texas." Period. Done. <laughs> so yeah, these uh, this meat packing plant. I'm pretty sure as of now is no longer packing the meat, and uh, <laughs> better not be anyway. Yeah, and uh, and are probably never going to uh, be in business ever again. Bad news. <laughs> we like business, but you know, not if it's bad. Sending rivers of blood into our local rivers, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
That's all we got, man. Nature. <laughs> Speaking of nature. <laughs> <laughs> nature, nature at its finest, uh, uh, deadly bad. But uh, <laughs> see, she should be tanning in this, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so that gave away a little. Not really. Why is this reloading? Okay. Uh, because it automatically reloads all the time. Awful. Just so you know, once you link to this story, it does reload like every 15 minutes or so. Um, five. Every five minutes. Uh, five that minutes. That happens with news. It, Anyways. Yeah. It, 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 likes, it likes counting up its hits. Anyways, um, <laughs> out in uh, Studio City, for those of you who don't know, that's the bottom part of California, outside of L.A., you know, fancy people stuff. This uh, lady has her Toyota Prius parked in her driveway, and her neighbor has these super reflective, uh, you know, anti-sun windows. And the thing about those super reflective anti-sun windows is that they make heat go away from your house. And uh, the way these particular windows do that at least uh, for for them, is, is it bouncing off of those windows and straight into this woman's driveway, where the side of her Prius is starting to melt uh, a little bit, because apparently it also intensifies the heat a little bit, and they're looking into this, but uh, uh, you know, into you know what else it could be, but uh, you know. But there's nothing else around. There's no, no <laughs> other, other real reason for it. So, and it's not just the Prius. I think there's another car that they par tried parking the same point and started getting melty. Melty. <laughs> <laughs> um, so check that out. It's really cool. Uh, just if, if for those of us who are a little uh, stupid, sciencey, um, you know, the sun doing that to a car, much less a Prius, because you know, Priuses are. Stupid. Um, Either way, the, the owner of the Prius I don't know, put a Prius. thermometer, it looks like, yeah, and to the area where the uh, light was being reflected, and it got up to 120 degrees in less than five minutes. And I, I'm sorry, just looking at that, I've you know I've walked in 100 in uh, California desert heat before, and uh, it can get hotter than that <laughs> just on its own. Um, but it's not right now because it's but, cold. But in five minutes, and you know this time of year, exactly. You know, yeah. there's. No other thing it could be. <laughs> and so I'm just a rearview mirror. I'm sorry. That's just that's funny to me because Priuses are plastic toys. But <laughs> I'm just anyways. imagining this melting Prius. <laughs> uh, global warming. Ah. Well, thanks anyway. to high efficiency reflective windows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is this is like greed energy combating. <laughs> oh, crazy. <laughs> so, oh. our, so yeah, we've closed a couple of couple of shows with some sad stories. I wanted to hit something really good today because uh, you know, I don't know if you know this about us, but we believe in the right for people to bear arms. I think we covered that once or twice. Um, if we haven't, well, shame on us. And, and, and <laughs> doubly so for for women to to bear arms because... Uh, mm. Check out our woman of the year. <laughs> our, our mom of the year, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah it's over there. Yeah, yeah there. up there. <laughs> Keep going that way until... You reach it. Should just and actually just watch all of them, you know. Okay. Shameless plug. And uh, in Daytona, this 22-year-old uh, uh, car thief was doing his thing, and uh, he started running from police, which happens when you're a car thief. And uh, <laughs> he, he started running through a neighborhood, and uh, this 64-year-old uh, woman decides to come out of her house and confront him with the phrase, stop right there, bleep, or you're going to be dead where you stand. And he turns to respond, and she's pointing a thirty-eight revolver at his face. So he stops, <laughs> like people do. And she held him there until cops arrived. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, come on, you look at this picture, there's a picture of her holding the gun right next to her no trespassing sign. <laughs> it's just... Awesome poster for you know holding having a gun. You yeah, know, this is this is a perfect example of why we should have the right to bear arms, and why I mean, we should 
allow people more freedom to bear arms. Exactly. At least in their own homes. At least in their yeah. own homes. Not not saying walk around Old West, we all got gun holsters on our legs. Right. But it's it's good for people to be able to defend themselves, especially against criminals. Exactly. <laughs> well, the way I see it is if this car thief had had a gun, and she hadn't because guess what? Guns were illegal. Well, he doesn't care. He's a criminal anyway. He's going to have a gun. But if she doesn't have a gun, he does. What yeah. would have happened to her? That's the funny thing about making things illegal. Criminals, DGAF. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on Friday. And if you have any new stories, you know where to send them. All things extraordinary at gmail.com. And until later, he's AJ. He's Jeremy. And these are extraordinary times. Be aware. <laughs>